Woo! <laughs> Just a little bit of fire. <laughs> Let's go! Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. In order to make these biscuits buttery and fluffy, we're gonna be cooking with an all-new film stock that I've never shot before. We're making gravy with Candido 800 Daylight. I've been told that this film stock is so good that it might be able to dethrone the king, his royalness, Portra 800. Let's see if the results are able to speak for themselves. Today, we will be rolling through a beautiful canyon just outside of Salt Lake City in our kitchen on wheels, doing our very best not to fall out and become ground sausage. At first glance, I have to say I'm very impressed. I love these deep greens. We've got good highlight roll off and the cherry on top is the lovely kiss of halation from the headlight. While this next one is probably getting sent back to the chef. It's a little blown out on the road, but this sun flare does get an honorable mention. Cruising through the canyon and I don't think we have the temperature right on the stove. This first batch of biscuits are coming out raw. I mean, honestly, where am I even focusing? Most likely it's not actually a focusing issue, but more of a, my eyes are too big for my stomach kind of situation. Our goal was to shoot some rollers with the hopes of getting the bike and the rider frozen while having the background motion blurred from the speed. In order to shoot a good rolling blurry image, you have to have a slow enough shutter speed in order to blur the background, but yet still be stable enough that you actually get your subject frozen. Trying to stay stable while balancing in the back of a moving truck is kind of like a baby giraffe trying to play the tuba on an ice rink. It takes some practice. Hopefully we get better. I guess you'll have to keep watching to see if I improve or if I fall out of the truck. A few corners later and the butter was just starting to sizzle. I was able to finally get my exposure dialed in, and although we don't have much blur in the background, I think these images are starting to get better. I absolutely love this one of my buddy looking backwards down a long, empty road. Even though it's not technically motion blur, the shallow depth of field plays really nicely. I'm starting to feel good about these biscuits. They have a nice, warm feeling that isn't overpowering, and still lets the cooler green colors add to the image. Candido 800, I like your batter. And these glints of halation are just the perfect garnish. I mean, look how happy he is. We still had a lot of light even though we were deep into the canyon now. I think I got too confident and tried to cross the road without looking and slammed right into the struggle bus. These next couple images, although usable, just don't really do anything for me. These are day old biscuits. The only thing to do to make them edible is to slather them in gravy. Although one thing I do like is this nice flare we keep getting from the sun. It's a combination of the lens I'm using, the aperture, and the ability of the film to be able to retain some of the highlight data, even though I'm pointing it straight at the sun. Good work, Candido. I've gotta say, you're impressing me quite well. Oh baby, now we're getting somewhere. This is definitely one of my favorite images so far. The lens flare, the subject brightly exposed with a darker background. I'm gonna need more of this, please. Let's risk it for these biscuits. But hey, look at that power squat. You on the light side? Yeah. Let's try and get an up close one too, so I'll be on like a wider lens. Okay. So we're gonna be moving in closer now, because I really wanna get some images with lots of blur. I was aiming to get some images that were almost abstract, kind of make the rider more anonymous. Something that could maybe get hung up in a gallery or on the wall of some pretentious art collector. Yes, this is what I wanted. I'm so happy with this one. Sure, the rider could have been much sharper, but I just love the feeling it gives. You know, I don't even care that the rider on this one is completely blurry. I love the sweeps of color in the background. The blues, the reds, the mixing of the green trees just look really good with the black and white of our rider. And now the sun gods are deciding to shine their lovely faces down upon this wretched soul of mine. I'm so happy with these shots. They have some great lens flare. The subject is in focus, and those greens, 
Those are the kind of greens that lawnmowers dream about. Coming in close for some detail shots, let's see if I can miraculously get any of these in focus. And look at that, I actually love it. I love that you can see the flame details on the bike. And this one of him going through the corner with his face cut off is just the kind of anonymous rider shot that I was hoping to create. How about we do some more close-up shots, please? It's totally fine if you ride in the wrong lane against oncoming traffic, right? In just a few miles, I burned through the entirety of the roll of Candido 800, and I'm so happy I did. I'm in love with some of the shots. Of the 36 exposure roll, I think we got seven solid keepers. The rest of these biscuits are going to the dogs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know if I made a lot of mistakes, just barely, but I shot the whole roll. <laughs> On yours? Yeah. That, that whole roll of Candido 800 is gone. I got one oh. more camera. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got another roll ready to go. Uh, Holy, I almost fell out of the truck. Do you see it? No, because I was. I was here like this, right as like he got no look. I got a little, little spooked a little bit. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, Woo! Before shooting the next roll of film, we had a little bit of bike maintenance to do. And I was able to snag this image of Parker tinkering with his toys. This next roll of film is also Candido, but this is Candido 200. They're slower speed film with finer grain. I'm shooting this on my Canon AE-1 with an 85mm for the tight shots and a 28mm for the wides. To be honest, I think I like these images a lot more than the roller images through the canyon. I was able to set up my framing and make sure that I actually got them exposed correctly. This one with the curving road, the single bike leaning over, some blurred out flowers, and a glint of this red halation. I'm so pleased with how this one came out. Next, I wanted to get above the road and try getting some top-down shots with the wide-angle lens. We found the perfect spot for it, and I honestly think these might actually be worthy of hanging on someone's wall. I love the colors of the red dirt contrasting with the green bushes and with the long lines of the road and a single bike in the corner. Man, I just, I love it. After finishing up on the road, it was time to do some model shots of the bike. These ones, I'm very conflicted over. On one hand, I do really like the images, but also, holy halation. On this one image, I can count nine individual flares of halation. They do kind of give the image a unique feel, but I also think they detract way too much from the subject itself. I mean, come on. This one has 14 different flares. I like this one that's coming out of the tailpipe like some sort of Satan-born fire turd, but all the other ones, they're just overkill. Thank you so much for watching me risk it for the biscuit. And if you liked this video, take a look at this one over here where I teach you how to use the camera that I used while I was in the back of the truck to shoot the rollers. This is the Nikon F4. Much love, and I'll see you next time right here on the Kevy Chronicles.